We're at Julie Bruff's today, Clapper's Farm. She's got, she's a, a staunch supporter of the North of England mule and uh, here's some of the sheep and, and we'll have to ask Julie, what do you think of North of England mules? Oh, well, I think you can't beat them, really, yeah. as, a, as a breed of sheep goes. I, I think they're, yeah, like your best friend, they don't let you down. Right. They do a and good how job. How long have you been keeping them here? Really? Oh, well, forever. Like, uh, Dad had, had them before I kind of right. got involved and yeah. just grown up with them, really, aye, yeah. And, and how many do you run here, then? Uh, I'd have about 450, they'll right. be all together, mules, and then we keep a few of the Suffolk skimmers as well and um, and breed off them as well. And you put them all to the Suffolk tup then? The or? mules all go to the Suffolk, aye, right. yeah, and hogs right you particularly through. like the Suffolk lambs then? And... Oh, definitely, aye, yeah, yeah, I just think, you, yeah, they're a good cross for them and you get a, you get a big good carcass of a lamb for your, for your weathers and then, you know, you, the gimmers make, make good yows. And when do you start lambing then? And... Uh, we lamb the Suffolks in January because right. they, they, they're kind of good for getting getting too fast. So we start in January with them, um, and sort of January, February, and then we leave the mules and lamb them in um, March for the yows, and then the hogs into April usually. Right. So we've got quite a spread out lambing time. Right, a lot of work then. <laughs> a lot of work, yeah, yeah. But they make it they make it easy for you. They're an easy, yeah, they're so easy, yeah. so easy. What, to look what after. particularly do you like with the mule then? What what well, they're sells such good the mule? Mothers. They're good mothers, and the, the milky they'll milk. Two lambs, no problem at all. Um, yeah. yeah, and they're, they're quiet to handle. You can, well, yeah, you can go in the field and catch them. I, I can just about really. With a, and then you sell them as three crops, did you say? We sell them as three shears, yeah. And you make good money on them as well. Ah, yeah, yeah, there's a you demand. You get your money back, so there's pretty much. No, de no depreciation on them <laughs> either. <laughs> there might be a little bit on odds, uh, yeah, uh, but right. otherwise, do no. You, they're, they're... Do you have many problems with mastitis and things like that? Not so much. No, there's right, generally so an odd one, but no, yeah. the no. They're very good, aren't they? They're very good. Yeah. I'm not biased. I'm yeah. Not... <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, you folk with white sheep and and, and nothing against white sheep, but the They'll say, oh, mastitis, mastitis, and it, it, yeah, it doesn't seem to be. You do get an odd yeah. one, but. I think it's down to hybrid vigour, really. Hybrid vigour, yeah. Yeah, that's what we want, hybrid uh, vigour. Yeah. <laughs> and you always go for Nemsa mules, hopefully, the you, Julie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty much, yeah. I like my, I like my first pens of ten and things. I like All to right. go around. I like, I like to travel away from them, but we, this last sort of year, we'd have a little and that. We've maybe just sort of stayed at the more local sales as well. and. Right. Um, Make a lot of good friends. Well, I think they are. They're, everyone's, yeah. <laughs> if they're trying to sell you something, they will yeah, be. Yeah, they're good. always your friends, are, yeah. 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 And it's a pleasure looking at a good sheep again. Oh, you well, must you, have you, a good you, eye you, for them, have you? You've got to, you, yeah, I, well, I like to think so. And I just, when you're working with something all the time, I think you want to be working with something that you like yeah. working with. If, if you look at something and you like it and, and it's yeah. pleasure, makes it pleasurable, eh? it's like your hobby and your job. Yeah. All, all in a one, really. So, and where do you sell your lambs? Do you sell them dead weight or do you sell them? No, we the like auction? to we like to go through the auction. I, I think dead weight's a bit of a it's there, but I like to think the auctions keep them going really. And may, like Carlisle, Wickton, and uh, like Cockermouth occasionally as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we're quite spoiled for auctions just on this patch with um, yeah, a few, a few pick from. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. And so no, and then um, we do have a bit of a market for the. Suffolk Gimmer lambs as well. We have a couple of customers keep coming back every year. Right. Um, we'll keep a few and then obviously, yeah. But you don't want to get too far away from the mule in your breeding. I think it's you? far enough. I think that first cross, uh, right, yeah. yeah, that's what I think. I, right. Yeah. You're not a bad judge then, Julie. <laughs> so are all your lambs grass fed then, Julie? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, all the Suffolk ones, yeah. We just, um, when we spin them, well, they're about ready for spinning now and we'll get a first draw a lamb straight out off the field, aye. And usually, the thing about them is they can surprise you when you put them on the weight. You'll yeah. think, oh, that one looks maybe 42, 44 kilos, yeah. but it might be 46 or 8. Yeah, right. You so get your weight without... With the Suffolk's? Then. Yeah, oh, definitely, yeah. And, yeah. and you aim to sell them at 44 plus or something like that? Or? I think, yeah, I think I think we usually 46, 48. I mean, we yeah. could, probably could get them away a little bit faster, but you, at the minute you think we're getting a little bit more Premium for a bit for of weight. Premium for heavier lambs. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. So... Right. But no, there's a perfect example standing here. Yeah. That could be 52 kilos. Yeah. <laughs> so this is John Bruff and he's a stalwart of the North of England mule and he's, I'm going to ask him why he likes mule sheep really. Well, because we've always kept them and, uh, well, and all the fashion sign used to be to make a living and if a machine isn't broken, do not try and mend it because so we just stuck to the mules and the Suffolk too. 
And the mules are the good sheep, are they? Oh, well, they're a good hardy sheep and, and they're fitting on, on just about any climate. I would say they're just about mule sheep for John's and Grouch to Land's End. Yeah. Our large sheep that we've got are them, well, they'll be 500 plus or whatever it is. And if there were any other breed, I didn't think she could look at manage them. No, why she is with me owls, right? Well, original easy care then, aren't they? Well, they are. Right, John, uh, uh, when did you first get your Suffolk tup then? What, what, put them to Suffolk? Yeah. We've, been, we've never had no doubts with Suffolk because we used to put Suffolk on half breadings. Right. And then we just carried on with me owls, so we've never, apart from just this last year or two, when she started to keep her on Suffolk crosses, it's the only time we've had it out white mm. uh, tips right. to so put the so Suffolk. big Suffolk fan as well. Oh, I can't beat them. 50 right. kilos, no problem. Right. You're on about 46 and 8, we think that. Huh? And what, what was them materials there? The one here. Ah, the one on the row with 50 kilos, right? Right. Get weight with the Suffolk then. You get weight with Suffolk, and that's how it comes now. Bulk of lambs never comes in till they're 12 months old no. because they're never heavy enough. Aye. You see, normally be now July, August, them bigger Suffolks, the bulk of them be September, it's gone. Aye. So these poor hill farmers could get a good price for their lambs as well. Aye, exactly, but now the, it takes that long for them to mature wouldn't come on to get weight. The one that had to have a booth there. Well, it's right, isn't it? Aye. How's lambing gone this time then, Julie? Aye, pretty good. There's yeah. been ups and downs and all sorts of things happen, but on the whole, very good really. Um, the hogs, I love lambing hogs, absolutely yeah. fantastic. I look forward to the beginning of April because it's the, like a breath of fresh air really, yeah. They just get on with the job and yeah. aye. Um, you said they were easy, are they easy? Are they easy? I think so, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're such good mothers. I mean, yeah. They're, um, the keen, yeah, they're good, really good. And you've had a good lambing time? They've, they've been grand and the vets actually commented this time that they've never seen us at lambing time, but we've, we've well, don't want to jinx myself for next year, but no, we've had no no trips to the vets, so, and yeah. So you lamb them all yourself if they've tried to? I've them all myself, and if it's needed help, I, yeah, yeah. Right. So yeah. They, they can lamb anything, a meal then, can they? And my hands are... <laughs> <laughs> my hands aren't small, but the, the lambs so easy. They've got so much room, haven't they? And yeah. Um, yeah. You find them easy lambing then? Absolutely, yeah. I wouldn't like to try and lamb it. I couldn't lamb any other breed of sheep in such in a big quantity on my own. I don't think because you, you know, it's almost like an easy care. Really, we'll go. Yeah. We'll lamb everything outside. Um, yeah. yeah, and just go around twice, three times a day and sort any problems out that need sorted. Help anything if it does need a hand. And yeah. yeah. 